Welcome back. It's 648 on your Monday morning. Time now for the morning rush. Two people accused in a shooting at an Albuquerque art show are now facing charges this morning. Police say the driver that caused a crash jumped out of a silver GMC SUV along with their passenger and ran to a nearby Olive Garden. The two men later identified as Caleb Estrada and Elias Sandoval were then detained. The armorer for the movie Rust will begin seeking dismissal of her case. Hannah Gutierrez was convicted of involuntary manslaughter in the death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins. Gutierrez Reed's lawyer says he plans to file a motion to dismiss the case after Alec Baldwin's involuntary manslaughter case was dismissed on Friday. We are working to learn more about a deadly pedestrian crash in Los Ranchos. BCSO deputies responded to the area on 4th Street between Ortega and El Pueblo around 10 o'clock last night. They found one person died at the scene. Ryan. We're going to be heating up today, but thunderstorms will be more widespread later in the day today. Possible in the Lincoln National Forest, but much more likely in the northern mountains to the Gila National Forest. Pretty hot throughout much of the region before any storms form. We really have to watch out how the storms will affect the temperatures and even the air quality ahead. An Albuquerque City Councilor is looking to revive a resolution from 2022 that would implement cameras to alert police of extreme noise downtown, capturing cars information by the as they drive by. The effort would focus on Central and the Barrelas neighborhood. Baca plans to bring up the resolution at an August council meeting. The village of Rudoso is thanking all of the communities who helped in their time of need, saying they are fully stocked up on donations for now. Officials say because of the overwhelming support, they are currently at capacity for monetary donations and unaffiliated volunteers. The village also says if more donations are needed in the future, a list will be developed and publicized. Some members of New Mexico law enforcement are helping officers in Wisconsin with a national event. Farmington Police Department says it is sending one sergeant and five officers to the Republican National Convention. The convention starts today in Milwaukee, lasting through Thursday. Ryan. And we're going to be, again, heating up across much of the viewing area, not only Albuquerque and in Berlin, but also in Farmington, the Four Corners. Temperatures likely reaching the 90s in triple digits, at least 100, 101 potentially in the southern parts of the Albuquerque metro near record-breaking heat. Not only the risk of heat-related illnesses, but sunburn, but storms will eventually start to cool things off ahead. Today is the last chance to send in auditions to Serenade Travelers at the Albuquerque Sunport. Every weekend, the Sunport invites local artists to perform in its Great Hall, introducing travelers to the sounds of the Land of Enchantment. Close to 70 artists perform each year, and there's still a chance for more to get involved. Some New Mexican baseball enthusiasts are waiting to see if they've secured a spot in an upcoming home run derby event at Isotopes Park. Yesterday, 16 local guys stepped up to showcase their batting skills. Isotopes general manager John Traub says the MLB will be picking the roster based on video from yesterday's tryouts. The City of Albuquerque Animal Welfare Department is expanding the Eastside Shelter days of service to seven days a week. The department says the shelter has over 900 pets in care and 600 pets in foster. They say being open seven days a week will bring much needed support to the department's overpopulated shelter over the summer. Ryan. And let's take a look at our morning drive. We have Generally pretty good traffic throughout much of the viewing area in the metro. No major accidents or slowdowns and trackers heading west on I-40 near Rio Grande Boulevard. Generally good traffic and we'll keep you up to date throughout the rest of today. More than 250 artifacts at a museum in Nashville are being returned to Mexico. The Parthenon Museum believes the artifacts date back to before Christopher Columbus's arrival in the Americas. Now the museum says they're returning the items to Mexico to better connect with the Hispanic community as well as send it a part of history back where it belongs. Now it's time for the five facts and in at number five some new Mexican baseball enthusiasts are waiting to see if they've secured a spot in an upcoming home run derby event at Isotopes Park. Yesterday 16 local guys stepped up to the plate to show their batting skills and some big names included. Former minor league players like Bob Stratton and Bagwala and New Mexico's living very own Logan Raider, along with 10 former college players and some semi pros as well. Their home run derby will take place Friday, August 23rd at Isotopes Park. At number four, the village of Rudoso is thanking all the communities who helped in their time of need, saying they are fully stocked up on donations for now. Officials say because of the overwhelming support, they are currently at capacity for monetary donations and unaffiliated volunteers. The village is also saying if more donations are needed in the future, a list will be developed and publicized. 
And at number three, remaining hot underneath this high pressure system, but the trajectory of this high pressure system will start to move far to the southwest later today into tomorrow and weakening as that high moves far to the southwest tomorrow. So despite upper level winds coming from the north, winds at the surface coming from the south, well above normal temperatures, but eventually more moisture, more storms will start to form later this week. And number two, an Albuquerque City Councilor is looking to revive a resolution that would crack down on noise complaints downtown. Councilor Joaquin Baca says he's hoping to bring attention to a resolution that passed in 2022. The resolution would implement noise cameras in the downtown area. Baca says the cameras would alert police of extreme noise past a certain time of night, capturing a car's information based on noise levels as they drive by. Councilor Baca says he plans on bringing up the resolution during a council meeting in August. And at number one, two people accused in a shooting at an Albuquerque art show are facing charges this morning. According to police, that shooting at Copper and Huantabo led to a six vehicle car crash involving a marked BCSO unit. Police say the driver that caused the crash jumped out of a silver GMC SUV along with their passenger and ran to a nearby Olive Garden. While pursuing them, deputies claim he saw one of the men drop a firearm. Two of them, Elias Sandoval and Caleb Estrada, are now in custody.